Hey, welcome back to the show. You know, the weather is getting warmer, so I'm getting the chip bowl ready. I got the pitcher ready to go. And nothing says party like sangria and salsa. Ooh. New Day producer Rebecca counts on both those recipes during the warm weather, and she's ready to show me how to do all this, right? All right, you're getting the magic recipe now, okay? And I love this because I it? see white wine bottles there as opposed to red, which you typically see with sangria. Yeah. But I feel like this white wine is going to lighten it up for spring. I'm a white wine girl, mm -hmm. and so this is my favorite recipe of all the sangrias. Well, I cannot wait right. to dive in. So how do you make your sangria? Okay, so first of all, I need you to help me start okay. by, um, we're going to quarter up some strawberries. Gotcha. I can do that. Don't I can do that. Good, by the way. How many do you need? Uh, let's do about 10. Okay. Um, they do smell delicious. And then normally this recipe calls for fresh peaches, but this is the Pacific Northwest and we don't always have them. So we're going <laughs> to improvise and use some frozen ones that I've thought out. Oh, those so are frozen because I was before you were yeah. on set. I was stealing a few, yeah, we're just gonna and I expected there. them to be the kind that were you know floating in syrup, but they're oh, not. They no, actually no, no. taste like fresh peaches. We're not doing canned. So no, no. Kudos. Okay, to so the then a little bit of apple for color. Okay, apple for color. Okay, we're just gonna throw it in here. And honestly, it's sort of just as many as you want. There's really no real measurements in this, but I usually use about half of a red apple, half of a green apple. Okay. Okay, and while you are cutting up the strawberries, I'm going to do a little bit of citrus. A little Again, citrus. for color. So I use um, about a half of it when I just slice it up. Okay. And then I'm going to juice the other half and stick that in there. Oh, you're going to juice it? I'm okay. going to juice it. Got it. So you yeah. just do a whole lemon and then you juice yeah. the other one. So I do half of it for the slices and then half of it I juice and stick right. it in there. Do you like that we're doing this? I'm just reaching over you to drop. Um, this is how we do it in real life, right? This is, this is actually how it would happen in my kitchen. Be like, you know, instead of saying, excuse me, I'm just going to reach over you here. Um, I like that the, the, the freshness and the brightness of the citrus Doesn't is very good. heavy in this specific sangria. Totally is. Totally is. Okay. It smells so good. So now I'm going to juice the lemon. And you know, this is just because I don't like to waste stuff. So I figure what's a little bit of extra citrus, right? I mean, I'm here for that. Citrus is one of my favorite notes. Um, I have that? to tell you though, you did that backwards. Why? What do you You mean? did this backwards. This is actually how you <laughs> actually do when All you right, do show it. Show me. Show me. <laughs> okay, so oh, yeah. basically, when you do it, a lot because of people think that the lemon goes the same yeah. way as that. No, that is incorrect. You have to you do it like what? this. This is why I and watch then, you on New Day Northwest. Well, I do make a cocktail or this two in my fantastic. day. fantastic. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, got that. And then right. will, you, will you do the lime for me? Sure. Happy so, to. like, how pretty this is already. And then we are going to add the fun part. Ooh, that's a, that's a strong lime. I got you, lime. You got it. Okay, oh, so strong. to this we add, I usually make this in a big bunch for people like at a party or a get together, so Got I it. usually do two bottles of wine, but you could just do one if you're just having it for dinner Just or for you, can I do one? Because uh, it looks so it. fun. Do it, oh. And then for some sweetness, I do about half of a can of peach nectar. Okay. Peach I've nectar. also um, used apricot nectar in this and it tastes really good, just a little bit tangier. This is like me pouring myself oh a glass gosh. of wine. It smells so good. And then, the little part at the end is about a shot, of an ounce and sec? a half of triple sec. Okay. Oh, this smells so good. And then, okay. Also, peach schnapps. Now, I understand this isn't just a spring thing. This is actually a wedding thing for you. Your mom made me do this at, on your wedding she day. She did. You know, we've kind of been perfecting this recipe oh, over the pretty. years. We probably started with a recipe at some point, and then we just kind of. You know, like you do what you do. You do the fun stuff. I love it. You do what it. you like. What a sweet picture. So then we stir, and okay. Um, okay. you, you know, in order to make it really good, try making it sit for like four, four hours or so. But through the magic of television, Amity. You have it right here. We have. See how all the fruit has kind of broken down. I see that, That's and the so alcohol good. also helps that kind of yeah. process and of then the enzymes. If you get some fruit in it. That's bonus. I know, I didn't get it's any fruit, but that's okay. We only have about two minutes left, okay. so we're gonna try this. Oh wait, I forgot to cheers. Okay, <laughs> it was cheers. almost bad luck. Cheers. Okay. Okay, good. Mm. Oh right? my gosh. <laughs> right? <laughs> and by the way, like if you are lucky enough to get the fruit at the end, it's like adult fruit salad. It's okay. Okay, that is delicious and very good. A little too good. Right? Okay, so now we're going to move on to our salsa. And this is just okay. a super simple recipe. All right. Again, I do it for get-togethers and 
So we're gonna do two cans of rinsed black beans. All right, could I like you, it. Could um, you could you start chopping up some avocado for me? We didn't sure want to do can. that too early. Because you know sure what happens can. to avocado? It gets brown. And about like a half of a red onion or so. Okay. Chopped up. And then your favorite part, Amity. Gross. <laughs> I do about four Roma tomatoes. Mm. But you know what? There's no way of doing a salsa without a tomato, <laughs> so you just got to get over it. I do eat salsa. I will say that. I'm and a then conundrum. I often will put corn in this, but um, you don't have to. Um, and then um, I'm going to put about half of this jalapeno in here as avocado. well. Okay. And then um, same thing with the lemon and the lime. We just squeeze a little bit of that in there. I'm <laughs> like rushing because we're almost out of okay, time. Why don't you, half of the avocado is fine. So okay. will you do, since you have such a magic touch with the lemon. All right, 30 seconds left. Okay, and then because I'm a local girl, I season it up with a little Johnny seasoning salt. This is like yeah, my, little, I like my it. little touch. So we'll just do a little bit of that. And then you mix it all together. We and mix Bob's it all uncle? together. You get some chips. It's pretty. It's healthy. It is and then pretty. Um, I sometimes will just eat this as a salad. Oh, that's actually like, a good idea. Put a little bit of bay shrimp in there. It's it's super good. So yeah, and salsa voila, and sangria. That's party it. a la Rebecca. Thank you so much. Say? Cheers again for this delightful dish. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Cheers. All right, well, we have linked the sangria and delicious salsa recipes on our website. You'll be popular, the most popular guest at the party. Well. If you bring either of these. <laughs> and we're going to continue cooking this week with all of our staff. Tomorrow, editor Gloria is showing us how to make Indonesian food, oh, these Indonesian fritters. I can't wait. I believe they're called perkadel. It has meat and potato. Okay. Yeah.